Senator Ted Cruz plans to meet with President Trump during his visit to Texas later today. The senator was here at the convention center yesterday, visiting the thousands of people seeking shelter. He joins us now on the phone. Senator Cruz, good morning. Good morning, Nora. It's good to be with you. I know you're going to be visiting with President Trump in Corpus Christi. What do you want him to know? What does your state need? Well, the, the, the state is hurting right now. We're still in an active crisis situation in Houston, as you know. The rain is, is coming down. It rained all night. This is this is now the fourth day in a row of, of pounding rain, uh, and and the flooding is unlike anything we've ever seen before. This is a, a 500-year flood. I grew up in Houston. We've seen a lot of hurricanes in Houston. What we haven't seen is a hurricane that just parks over the city and and dumps four to five feet of, of rain on the city and, and the flooding. Uh, there's still a lot of people who are in dangerous situations. The, the first responders are, are are truly demonstrating heroism. The, the firefighters and police officers and EMT and the Coast Guardsmen and National Guardsmen. I mean, we're seeing daring high water rescues one after the other after the other. And I'll tell you even more incredibly, we're, we're just seeing neighbors rising up. Uh, you know, when when this started, uh, uh, the, the county judge and local officials put out a call that to just to, to city residents, if you have a flat bottom boat that can help, please do so. Yesterday, uh, I, I went to the Harris County Emergency Operations Center, and they have an entire wall covered with post-its uh, of people who called in and, and said, I've got a boat, I've got a jet ski, I've got, got, got something that we can help rescue. And their numbers and, and, and the Harris County Center would basically operate it as a dispatch as, as people called in in distress. That, that they had hundreds of private citizens mm -hmm. just saving the lives of their neighbors. So our focus right now is on the preservation of life. Once, once this storm recedes, and it will, then the focus will be on rebuilding. Senator, I know you were here at this convention center yesterday. You know, it grew to over 9,000 overnight. They don't even have enough cots for the people that are here. There was a call for help yesterday from the city of Houston. If any medical professionals can come volunteer, please come volunteer. Are you concerned that there wasn't enough preparation? Well, yeah, I'm certainly concerned that the burden of the storm is exceeding uh, all of the pre projections and that no one anticipated that the flooding would have this magnitude and continue for this long. Usually when you have a flood event, uh, it, 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 it occurs and you, and you have rescues, but then you're very quickly moving to the rebuilding because the water's receding. Uh, what is different is, is we're sitting here now and it's still raining. You know, you mentioned that, that the president is coming to Corpus Christi. My, I hope to come down uh, to Corpus and visit him, but, it, but it's very much up in the air if, if I could physically get there. My, the plan is to uh, get in a pickup truck in about a half hour mm -hmm. and try to drive, but, but the freeways have been closed, and so it may be a, a very short trip if it proves that we can't get out of Houston. I, I hope that we can, uh, but, but if mm -hmm. not, I'll, I'll continue to spend the day okay. in Houston going back and, and visiting with those displaced from their homes. And I will say this, right. Nora, as you talk to the people at the shelter, the overwhelming sentiment from, from everyone I spoke to was just, just relief that, you know, they're sad yeah. that their homes or their possessions are damaged, but overwhelmingly relieved that their lives, and, uh, their lives are safe, mm -hmm. their families are safe, and there's a real appreciation that at the end of the day, that's, that's what matters most. Senator, you're exactly right. There's a huge amount of gratitude uh, that those uh, who have been rescued are safe. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay in touch with us. Thank you. God bless.